Hey guys, welcome to the Soul String Studio. Today, I've got something really cool to show you. The Friedman IRX. This is the sound that you heard in that little intro jam. The Friedman IRX is a dual channel tube preamp that fits nicely on your pedal board, as you can see. It's powered by two, not one, two 12AX7 preamp tubes, and it delivers all that nice response and that harmonic richness that we've come to love in the big, powerful Friedman amps. The IRX has two channels, so channel A and channel B, covers everything from nice, warm cleans to high gain overdriven sounds, which Friedman are famous for. And each of the individual channels has a very nice addition of a boost. By pressing this, you can add the boost either to channel one or two. In addition, each of the two channels has a three band EQ. So you have treble, middle and bass. And last but not least, both channels have the voicing switches. So essentially they are, one is called the bright switch and the other one is called the tight switch. So essentially they give you three different EQs or three different levels of EQs on each of the channels. So really you have a wide range of options in order to sculpt the tone and achieve different sounds from these two channels. Now let's talk about the two channels for a second, starting with channel one, which is the top one. It really goes from a nice, warm, sparkly clean sound with the addition of the bright switch here to a real gritty kind of vintage rock depending how hard you push it with the gain it can even go into the kind of classic rock ACDC um, territory it's also fantastic for boost so you do get a lot of range on the channel one and with the addition of that you have a little side switch here or dial whatever they call it which you can add more or less gain to the gain knob. So depending how much gain you wanna add when you're turning this knob, that's a really cool function. Channel two is the Friedman sound. Channel two is that Marshall sound just pumped up, made even better. That's why everyone and their cousins play Friedman amps. If you can afford it, you know, they're the best amps on the market right now. And channel two is that amp. Channel two is that sound. Channel two has that range in terms of gain. You don't need to push the gain that far up if you don't want to, because it has the balls, it hits you hard. It's everything we love about rock and roll, about hard rock. It's never shrill, it's never, too harsh, this is the Friedman sound. Now, obviously, if you think about it, these two channels are powered by real preamp tubes. Quite classic, right? Where things get a little funky is that they've only gone and added MIDI to it. So the IRX is actually MIDI programmable. This means that you can select the channels, you can activate the boost, I believe, and then you can assign the IRs to the channels via MIDI. So that's a really cool feature. The IRX also includes a very high quality and transparent effects loop, which is really cool because obviously, you know, you wanna plug in your time-based effects, whatever in the effects loop, and it's very cool. It also functions as a way of, if you actually want to use some of the features of this incredible pedal, you can actually plug in another preamp into the effects loop, therefore bypassing the Friedman preamps, which not sure why you'd want to do that, but hey, whatever, and then use the kind of back end power amp cabinet simulation aspects of this. So that's what's really cool about this. You can use it in a million different ways. Talking about kind of the back end of the pedal, 
what you have is it comes preloaded with three really high quality cab sims for each of the channels. So I've got to say, these are amongst the best kind of pre-included IRs that I've heard ever in any product. They are really, really high quality. On most of these kind of preamp pedals or modelers or whatever, I always, always dislike the IRs that are included in them. I always go and use my Celestian IRs. I always go and maybe use the two note stuff and I bypass them. However, this is the first time in my life I've actually really digged the pre-included IRs. So really great job. I don't actually see any reason not to use the ones here. But if you do want to use them, final bit that you need to remember is that this has a software link to it. And so on your computer, you can load up the software. And what that allows you to do is load up your own IRs, whichever ones you want, and then upload them via USB to the IRX. Another thing the software allows you to do is that it has two additional refinements. I think thump and something else which goes into the kind of power amp section of this pedal. So you can tweak some of the things in more detail. So it's really cool that they've added that additional possibility um, via software to tweak your sound even further. As I mentioned, the guitar sounds that you heard in that little 20 second jam at the beginning was all done with this directly from the balanced out into my audio interface. There was nothing else except obviously for a wah for the lead part, which was going straight into this. And I believe a little bit of delay that I've added in Reaper, but that's about it. No EQ, nothing. The IRs used were the stock ones that Friedman gives you. And so really cool. And I think that's one thing to mention, just the simplicity nothing really can go wrong you just plug this in into your audio interface you're done you've got the sound of a ass kicking 4x12 massive amp just in this so having said that let's move on to some additional sound samples just to give you a kind of a flavor of what this pedal can do both on channel one slightly cleaner and the ass kicking channel two will put the boost on and off so you can hear the difference with the boost and play around with the sw bright switch and the tight switch here. So let's go to some further sound samples and see what we think. Okay guys, here we are. Let's start with a nice clean sound. We are going direct into my audio interface with the balanced out. As you can see from the dials, we are really low gain on channel one. Everything is more or less at 12 o'clock with the standard cabs and bright switch. Let's do this. Okay, so now let's get a bit of hair on it. So let's put the gain up and let's kick in the boost. Let's see what that sounds like. Thank you. 
That sounds really awesome. What I want to do is put the gain a little further up and put the bright switch to the one on the right. Let's see what happens there. <laughs> Okay, let's turn the boost off and move to channel two. Oh, there you go, we're in channel two. Okay, now let's put that boost on and see what happens. So guys, I hope those sound samples kind of gave you a quick, rough idea of what to expect if you get this pedal. It is actually surprisingly hard to do it justice. Uh, I don't say this often, but this is one of the most complete items of gear generally that I've ever played. You can get things that have one sound that kick ass, um, but need something else to work or are a bit fidgety. I can't find anything that I would have changed in this. Um, I really think that Friedman just got it so right. There is nothing that is not well thought out. There is nothing that's not high quality. It has everything that a pro guitar player wants, and but in a format that is accessible to kind of everyone. So even if you're beginner, intermediate, etc. I mean, everything is really well thought out. The two channels plus the boost on each of the channels plus the various switches means that you have so much versatility just in terms of the sounds. The preamp tubes act and sound like a 
proper tube amp because it is a proper tube amp and that does make a massive difference. In addition, the way the connectivity, so the kind of back end of the pedal is made, just allows it to be used in so many ways, in so many different recording, live rehearsal scenarios, but very simple. So, as I said, you could use this as a just preamp section because you can deactivate the kind of cab and power amp simulation. It has that function. Or you could use this just as kind of a DI cab machine by inputting whatever other preamp you want in the effects loop. Or you could plug this into a bigger amp. There are so many uses. There are so many different ways that this pedal can be used and can sound awesome and add so much to your current live rig or just your studio if like me you spend most of your time in your recording studio you know space is at a premium damn well this solved everything quite frankly i can sell all my other amps it is just such a versatile great sounding amp that you can tell has been made with the guitar player in mind no more going through millions of screens to find the gain knob look it's there guitarists just want to rock out guitarists don't want to spend time going through menus and crap like that let's be honest i love modeling software it is up there it's now become so realistic but you know what this still sounds different. This still feels different. Real amps are a massive step up still. And, you know, there's some young players that may be used to that digital sound that you find in modeling softwares or whatever other computer programs you use. But the way this reacts is for me still a world apart very hard to hide behind this by the way but it's still a world apart so guys final thing is we have to talk about the price a little bit this is roughly about 500 bucks so it doesn't sit into that kind of inexpensive area of amps but it doesn't sit in the super expensive side either so if you think that one of the normal Friedman amps is well over a thousand, two thousand bucks. This 500 bucks is almost as good as its big brothers. Um, you can use it anywhere. For me, okay, it might be slightly more expensive than, you know, one of the small Black Stars, Marshalls, whatever, but its sound quality is way better. Also, it's a little more expensive than most of those kind of mid-range modelers. But again, this is the real deal. So, personally, if you don't have the money and you want to spend like 200 bucks on something, rather than buying a 200 buck modeler, up for, you know what? Sell something, save up, and try and get this. Because this will make you very happy. I think I'm done. I think I've said all that I have to say on this. Go check it out because it really is awesome. And also go check out Dave Friedman on YouTube. He has a cool show with Mark about anything guitar related. Um, it's called Tone Talk. Go check it out because it's a great show. Shout out to them as well. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much. I hope this has been useful. I am going to go play this some more because... I love it. I am so happy. Thank you, whoever invented this. So, as usual, thanks for watching, guys. I hope, as I said, you'll enjoy it. Let me know. Have you guys played it? Do you guys want to try it? What do you think about the future of tube amps? Is this it? So, is the future of tube amps simply a kind of tube pre-section with the simplicity of tubes? 
but with all the cool modern appointments that you get in the kind of backhand, I think it is, and that's what this is. So let me know in the comments. I would be really grateful, and thank you as always for watching. Keep playing guitar, rock on guys, and please be nice to each other. Peace.